camera one, camera two. All right. Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all doing well. I am in a bit of a chaotic situation at the moment. We have a few things here that we need to get in order. And um, yeah, so <laughs> I thought of doing a what's gonna be in my travel bag, I guess. And uh, yeah, just a disclaimer, just a disclaimer. Don't know what I'm doing, but to be honest, this is uh, all part of the process. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. All right, I have my clothes here. I have pasalubong, some more pasalubong shoes, and then some toiletries and all that stuff. So, how are we gonna do this? We are gonna do this by weight. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do this by weight. So, I'm gonna put in first. Actually, I should show you what I have. So, this is what I have. Yeah. Um, it's actually a military bag that my brother um, isn't using anymore. It's this one. It's basically just a duffel bag, and and I'm gonna be using one lock and another lock. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And so now we're gonna start off with our bulky, hard cased. We are gonna start off. One good thing to kind of keep in mind is that when you are bringing shoes and if you are staying over a certain length of time in a different country, it would be a good idea to kind of wrap your shoes in a plastic bag just so that it doesn't like come in contact with your other clothes or with your items so nothing gets dirty, you know. I have a pair of flats, I have my chinelas, and then I also have my swim, swim shoes. Okay, people might think this is very weird, but this is only because I had an incident where I basically just sliced my foot in the water and then I was like, yep, yeah, okay, shoes forever. So these are gonna go in there. In terms of sneakers, I'm gonna wear those on the plane. Yeah, I'm gonna wear those on the plane because they're the most heaviest and the most bulky. So yeah, that's another tip you should keep in mind is to wear items that are you feel are the most bulkiest so you can kind of save space on your luggage. So this is a duffel bag that has wheels at the end, so it's gonna go upright like this. So I'm gonna put all the heavy items at the bottom. This is weird. I've never had two cameras before, so I'm like I'm I'm a little like two <laughs> Flats, some juice. Okay, we have that. I have my pasalubong. I still have to figure out how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna see if I can do it like this. So yeah, all the bulky items first. Oh, so I have my toiletries. Don't judge me. <laughs> These are my toiletries. Um, it fits its purpose. It's it's it does what it's meant to do. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna disregard the fact that it is a black and pink zebra pattern. A toiletry bag. Yeah. So now we can put in basically the rest of my clothes, but I don't really have a lot. And plus I still have my undergarments, but I'm not obviously gonna do that right now because it's still like a week and a half away, so I'm gonna do that later. But you know, obviously bring your undergarments. Don't forget to bring your underwear and your bras and your, I don't know, briefs. I am going to the Philippines and it is, right now, it's currently the summer there. It's funny because, you know, here in Canada, it's not really, it doesn't really get hot, like that hot, I guess. It does get humid, it gets really fucking humid, but in terms of like heat, it doesn't go more than 30, the highest I've seen was like 35 with a humidity index of, I don't know. Yeah, no, with a humidity index of 35, but it doesn't really go higher than that or something like that. So, but right now, in the Philippines, it's the summer. And as you could probably know, if you know your geography, Philippines is right dead in the middle of the, what is that thing called again? That line. <laughs> it's, it's, in the, it's in that line. Oh, what is that? Basta! It's very hot there right now, especially now because it's in the summer, so whether whether women, whether men, on the news, they'd be like Mabut pa sa 40.3 degrees Celsius ang heat index dahil po sa alinsangan ng panahon So, you know, no big fucking deal <laughs> So, yeah, I'm gonna pack I'm packing a lot of dresses and a lot of, like, light um, light fabric clothing items So, for example, 
I have these pants and regardless of the fact that they're pants like the like the material is like super light so not only can I fit I can fit like a lot of um, light layered clothing items and still have like a bunch load of space in my luggage <laughs> I don't really know where I was going with that um, another thing that I guess you can keep in mind is for me what I is that the longer that you stay in a given country the less clothing items that you should bring that's what I think personally. So for example, say if I were to go, say if I were to go to another country for more than a month, or at least even a month, I would only bring enough, enough clothing items to last me for seven days, seven or eight days. And that way I can kind of just, you know, go to a like laundry mart or something, go to a place that where you can do your laundry, or, or, in, my, or in my case, I can go to a convenience store can get some laundry detergent and fabric softener or something and I can just do my own laundry. That way I'm not bringing clothes that last me for 30 days because that's just ridiculous. Like, um, oh right, I didn't mention this, but because I'm traveling solo and because I have no idea what I'm doing, I thought it'd be a good idea to always bring a weight scale with me and this is Northern Traveler. I don't know if that helps for anybody. This is basically, because I'm going on different airlines, I'm, I'm using China Eastern and I'm using PAL, I'm using Cebu. It'd be a good idea to kind of just make sure that you have, that you're within the restrictions of their baggage, baggage allowance for each airline because some of them, they're very, very strict and I don't feel like paying an extra 500 pesos just for, I don't know, an extra two pounds or something. So that's just something to keep in mind if you don't want to pay extra. So for my luggage my checked in luggage i am going to only be putting in as i said my pasalubong and my undergarments uh travel essentials and my um sorry not my travel essentials my toiletries and my clothes and as well as some random stuff but one of the things that i will be bringing on my carry-on is my electronics and that is because I don't want to worry about, you know, putting in my laptop and my luggage. That's that's pretty stupid, to be honest. <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to put my laptop or any of my electronics or any valuables in my luggage because I don't know what's going to be happening throughout the travel of Toronto going to Manila. I don't know what's going to be happening and I don't want to worry about that. So, yeah. Yeah, and plus, I'd rather have it with me so that when I have like my laptop um, on the computer, on the computer, on the plane, I can, you know, do my work or I can do my exam <laughs> or something like that. So yeah. Oh, I guess like another thing that I should probably mention or just so that people who just so like, you know, to keep in mind, I'm also not bringing any jewelry or anything, any jewelry that I think is, you know, that is very valuable to me. First off, I don't even wear jewelry. Like I don't, I don't wear it. I think it's too much of a hassle. And second, because like, again, like I'm traveling alone. I don't want to, you know, put myself out there and say that, you know, hey, you know, I'm not from here. I'm blessed, I'm alone. So I want to try to assimilate as much as I can or, you know, blend in as much as I can. Just so, you know, to reduce like the probability of me getting, you know, into a sticky situation. So yeah. You know, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, and oh, I also have a lot of plastic bags just because, um, just in case, you never know, I feel like I might need these. <laughs> and I think that is it. Yeah, I don't really have a lot. I didn't bring a lot. I don't think I'm bringing, yeah, I don't think I have a lot. Other, like, the only things I have left is makeup. Um, I actually have to pack my toiletries, I haven't done that yet. And, um, oh, okay, so one other thing I feel like, feel like I need to mention is the whole idea of toilet paper. For some reason, last, last time, so the last time I went there, for some reason, in a lot of the washrooms, they didn't offer, they didn't, they don't have toilet paper. And so I was, I was really confused. I was like, why? <laughs> so then I was actually, I was also confused. I was like, why? Like, mom, why are you bringing, like, toilet paper? She was like, oh, because, you know. They don't have any. I'm like, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's I, like, I'm, I, I guess I'm gonna have to bring this too. So I brought like two. Um, yeah. There they are. And that's honestly basically it. And I have, I still have like a lot of space. And yeah. <laughs> Alright. 
so that's every uh, that's it everybody i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry if this was like a little bit short that's it if you guys like to see these types of videos like you know like what's in my travel bag or in my carry-on or you know toiletries things like that let me know in the comments down below or hit me up with a like or a subscribe comment and i'll catch you guys later bye <laughs>